Okay, in this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to create a very simple bar graph. All right, so we have our um, we have our uh, table here, which is where we are going to get our information for our bars. And in this speed test, these children had to bounce a ball uh, 50 times, and this is how long it took them. So David bounced the ball 50 times, and it took him 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Jenny did it in 1 minute 45 seconds, Carol did it in 2 minutes and 10 seconds, and Steve bounced the ball 50 times in a whopping 45 seconds, because he cheated probably. Anyway, uh, so now we go, this is our table and this is the information we're going to use. Our first kid um, could be David, because he's just at the top of the list. We don't have to put them in any particular order, so David was 2 minutes and Jenny, Carol, and we can see that all the times here are under, are two and a half minutes or faster. So uh, I think if we split our um, time uh, Y scale up by 30 seconds, and David was two minutes, 145 for Jenny, Carol, our graph paper and one thing you got to remember is if you have squared paper like this you don't need to draw a lot of lines in between these uh, in between these lines you can use these lines here to um, help you build your graph so I've already gone ahead and drawn the x-axis and I've drawn the y-axis and you have to remember that first of all you have to uh, decide well, what is going to go along the x-axis okay well in this case we would write the names of the of the kids okay so we just write in here David okay and uh, the next Okay. And Steve's name here. Okay. Now you can see that I have written the name across three squares. Okay. I've tried to space them out as evenly as I could. So now David's bar. Uh, could be uh, either three squares across, okay, or it could be uh, two squares, although it would be either here or here, and it wouldn't look very tidy, or it could just be one square. I'm going to make it really nice and quick and easy, so it's going to be just one square, okay? Now, we've got our names along the side here. Now, we have to work out our times. Well, we go back. Okay, so we have zero seconds here zero seconds here, 30 seconds here, one minute, one minute 30 seconds, two minutes, two minutes 30 seconds, okay, and along here we write students, and along here we write time, Okay, so now we go back, so we draw up here. Now you notice I'm going, I'm using the lines on the page. Okay, there's David's. Okay. Okay, so now Jenny is about one. Okay, so you notice that Jenny is 145, which is right in the middle between these two. So Jenny should be right there. Whoops. 
You can see that I've drawn it in the wrong place. Okay, and now we write as our title, Speed Test. Okay, and that's basically how you do it. You uh, will obviously be able to see that the spacing here is the same. Okay, the width of the bars is the same. Okay, and no one has their name squeezed in anywhere. They all have the nice uh, even amounts. Label my X and Y axis and I'm good to go. That's a very quick and easy bar graph and I hope you found it helpful. Okay, good luck.